or technically it would be feasible to enforce a no-fly zone, but it would be incredibly, incredibly dangerous to do so because in order to ensure that the skies over Ukraine remain uh, closed to Russian, uh, Russian uh, aeroplanes, uh, action would also probably need to be taken outside of Ukraine where some of those aircraft are based. And therefore that would involve a direct attack on Russia. And that would clearly be uh, the sort of action which, uh, which would encourage Putin to look towards the nuclear option. The other thing, of course, is that enforcing a no-fly zone over Ukraine uh, would not stop Russian missiles. And, uh, and while it may stop the attack helicopters that we can see there and it may stop the aeroplanes, if it doesn't stop the missiles, it's certainly not going to be able to stop the attacks on the cities. So given that, uh, that NATO does not want to provoke a major, uh, a major uh, military conflict with Russia, a no-fly zone, I think, is basically a non-starter, regardless of what President Zelensky says. NATO will not uh, will not enforce one. Graham, as far as uh, sanctions are concerned, uh, this looks like maximum pressure. Uh, the US is, is now trying to cohere support for an outright direct ban on Russian energy exports. Is that going to change uh, Putin's calculus? I don't think sanctions will change the calculus at all. I mean, the, the imposition of, a, of, uh, of sanctions on Russian energy exports would be catastrophic for the Russian economy because at the moment, given uh, the other sanctions, it's the energy exports which are, uh, which are providing the main source of income for the Russian economy, particularly given the increased prices of energy ever since the uh, attack on Ukraine began. But I think... Putin is set on this course. I think he believes that he can uh, see it through to the end. I think he also believes that uh, that the attempt to apply to apply sanctions on energy would be the issue which might create divisions within the EU, because the EU in the past has been divided over the attitude to Russia, and the EU, unlike America, is of course very highly reliant upon uh, Russian oil and gas. And therefore, if, uh, if the Americans did impose those sorts of sanctions and Russian oil and gas was cut off to the EU, it would, tempor it would, would potentially have major consequences for the EU economies and also for the, uh, the population of those, of those countries because they rely upon that Russian oil and gas for heating and uh, cooking and so forth. So I think it's unlikely that... Uh, that, that they'll be able to pull off a, uh, that the Americans will be able to pull off a blanket sanctions ban. But even if they do, I don't think it will stop uh, Putin, at least in the short term. In the longer term, it will clearly have significant effects. But in the short term, I think the Russians will see it as, as a cost worth bearing to achieve whatever it is that they want to achieve.